California lawmakers and LGBT groups gathered at the state capitol to denounce the Trump administration's reversal of transgender bathroom protection laws. Yesterday, the Trump administration revoked federal guidelines that allowed transgender students to use bathrooms and locker rooms matching their chosen gender identity. They say it is a state's issue and each state should decide for themselves. CBS 13's Angela Masalam live in Sacramento's Lavender District with reaction tonight. Angela? Yeah, well, Sam, just as you said, President Trump's decision does not affect state law. Transgender students here in Sacramento can still use the restroom they best identify with. But people we spoke with today say the country is taking a step back. There is absolutely no excuse that could justify rescinding protections for innocent children. Local leaders and state lawmakers taking a stand against President Trump's decision to flush out federal protection to transgender students. I want my child who's in early kinder here at Washington. I want him to love everyone no matter what and accept people. Rebecca Scoville talks to her sons about equality and stresses the importance of seeing everyone as an equal. Scoville's disappointed and she says the president is setting a bad example. He clearly doesn't care about school safety. He doesn't care about equal protection under the law. LGBT leader David Heitzeman says transgender youth already have a tough time fitting in at school. He says the president's directive is only going to be more damaging. That person is other. That person is not welcome to learn in our school. But that's not the case at schools within the Sacramento Unified School District. We have several dozen transgendered students uh, in our district. They have 100% of our support and our commitment. Board President Jay Hansen says the district has allowed transgender students to use restrooms that correspond with their gender identity since 2013. For their ability to be able to get a great education and feel supported in the schools, I mean, that's what we're all about. Hansen says there haven't been any problems. In fact, he says the quality of transgender students' education has improved. But some opponents disagree and say school is a place to learn, not to express your gender identity. You want to have your orientation or your sexual organs changed around to be a different gender, uh, I think you maybe should use the restroom at your home. And according to Heitzeman, 75% of transgender youth report feeling uncomfortable or unsafe in schools. Now, we reached out to other school districts in the area. They tell me no matter what happens on the federal level, they will always provide equality to all students. All right, Angela, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento.